Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Sunday, December 10th. It's the second Sunday in Advent and week two in the Psalm cycle and year two in the lectionary. The scripture for this service, Psalms 114 and 115, Amos chapter 6 verse 1 through 14, and 1 Chronicles 29 verses 10 through 11 and 13. Now join me in singing the second verse of Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. Israel, strength and consolation, hope of all the earth thou art, dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. When Israel went out of Egypt, Judah was God's sanctuary. Psalms 114 and 115, and please recite them with me. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel from an alien people, Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel was God's dominion. The sea saw and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. Why, O oh sea, did you flee? Why, Jordan, were you driven back? Why, mountains, that you skip like rams, and you little hills like lambs? Tremble, earth, at the presence of God Most High, at the presence of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, which turned the rock into a pool, and the flint into a fountain of waters. Not to us, God Most High, not to us, but to your name give the glory, for your mercy's sake, lest the heathen say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. Our God does whatever God pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes they have, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Noses they have, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. Feet they have, but they cannot walk. Neither can they speak through their throat. And they that make them are like them, and so is everyone that trusts in them. O Israel, trust in the Most High, God is your help and your shield. O house of Aaron and Elizabeth, trust in the Most High, God is your help and your shield. You that fear the Most High, trust in the Most High, God is your help and your shield. The Most High has been mindful of us, God will bless us, God will bless the house of Israel. God will bless the house of Aaron and Elizabeth. God will bless them that fear the Most High, both small and great. The Most High shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed by God Most High, who made heaven and earth. The heavens are God's, but the earth is given to its peoples. The dead do not praise you, Most High, neither any that go down into silence. But we will bless you, from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. When Israel went out of Egypt, Judah was God's sanctuary. A reading from the prophet Amos, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Alas for those who are at ease in Zion, and for those who feel secure on Mount Samaria. The notables of the first of the nations, to whom the house of Israel resorts. Cross over to Kalna and see from there. Go to Hamath the Great. Then go down to Gath of the Philistines. Are you better than these kingdoms, or is your territory greater than their territory? O oh, you that put far away the evil day, and bring near a reign of violence. 
Alas, for those who lie on beds of ivory and lounge on their couches, and eat lambs from the flock and calves from the stall, who sing idle songs to the sound of the harp, and like David improvise on instruments of music, who drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the finest oils, but are not grieved over the ruin of Joseph. Therefore they shall bow now be the first to go into exile, and the revelry of the loungers shall pass away. The Most High God has sworn by himself, says Yahweh, the God of hosts. I abhor the pride of Jacob, and I hate his strongholds, and I will deliver up the city and all that is in it. If ten people remain in one house, they shall die, and if a relative one who burns the dead shall take up the body to bring it out of the house and shall say to someone in the innermost parts of the house, Is anyone else with you? The answer will come, No. And then the relative shall say, Hush, we must not mention the name of Yahweh. See, the Most High commands, and the great house shall be shattered to bits, and the little house to pieces. Do horses run on rocks? Does one plow the sea with oxen? But you have turned justice into poison, and the fruit of righteousness into wormwood. You who rejoice in lo debar, who say, Have we not by our own strength taken Carnaim for ourselves? Indeed, I am rising up against you, O nation. A house of Israel, says Yahweh, the God of hosts. And they shall oppose you, oppress you, from Lebanon to the wall, to the wadi Arabah. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep. For only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior has taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Blessed are you, God of Israel, forever and ever. Yours is the greatness and the power, and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and on the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, and you are exalted as head above all. Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.